All right, you guys, it's January 10th, 2023, and we are starting to get a wintry mix now. About an hour ago, and then an hour before that, literally I heard like a couple little rocks of sleet hitting my window. So I put on my shoes real quick, went outside, got in my car, and it was just those couple little sleep, sleep pellets, so I, I didn't go back out again. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and find some of this snow. We're gonna go up into Upper Moon Ridge and hopefully find more of a wintry mix up there. What do you guys think about that? I think it's a good idea. So the whole point was, <laughs> the whole point is, is that I was going to go record a little, a little bit ago when we had a couple sleep pellets, but it was literally a couple sleep pellets. That's it. That's it. Like no more. So I got, got into my car now I, and then I ran back into the house because I didn't want to do another rain video just two hours after the last one. So let's do this. We're on Moon Ridge Road, you guys, and we're gonna head into Upper Moon Ridge, <clears throat> as I just stated. As I stated. Hey, alrighty then. Cheerio. Paul, that's for you, bro. Cheerio, Paul. My brother from Great Britain. Care for some fish and chips? How's my accent? So there's, see, I like mix Australian in with my British. And I'm allowed to talk like that. I'm allowed to, uh, what's that word? Uh, I don't know, but I'm allowed to because I'm a lot British, according to my 23andMe DNA. And crazy enough, I've, uh, my whole life, I've always celebrated Christmas and this and that and Santa Claus and stuff like that. Um, but I'm 49% Ashkenazi Jew. And I don't know much about Judaism at all. So the older I get, the more I want to learn about my, about where I come from, you know? And I found out that Ashkenazi Jews have had the most Nobel Peace Prizes or Nobel Prizes on the planet ever. Um, and we have also created the most technologies which have helped humans to live longer and to have better lives. So I thought that was pretty cool. And believe it or not, I'm a very generous person. Hope that joke went over well. All right, we are on Butte now. I know I skipped the last street, which was called Silvertip. And then we turned right for a brief moment on Villa Grove. And now we are on Silvertip. <clears throat> but yes, we are receiving a mild wintry mix right now. I'm really upset. The temperature just went from 38 to 39 as we're climbing in elevation. <clears throat> Still got a little bit to go. A few hundred more feet. I'm hoping that'll make a difference. Obviously, it's not going to be pure snow. But any changes, you guys, this is what I do. And since this is close enough to me, I figured, hey, we might as well go, go up here and check it out, see what's going on. Maybe the, the ground will start to turn white up here. Who knows? I'm hearing a couple sleep pellets hit the windshield. Das ist gut. Das ist gut. I'm telling you guys, I use so much gas to make these videos. I love it though. And in this car, because it, it has a turbo engine and all that good stuff, I use 91 gas. Because I own the car. Well, I mean... I bought the car, I didn't lease it, I bought the car, so I want to make sure that I treat it as well as I possibly can. A lot of people have always told me that, you know, that's it, it, it really doesn't matter what gas you put in your car. Even when I had a Mercedes years ago, I had a, a Mercedes, uh, an ML500, and when I got it, I got it brand new, um, and it said to put 91 in the gas tank in the owner's manual. But even some of the service department people said, you don't need to, that's kind of a gimmick. But at, at the same time, as I agree a bit, wouldn't it be more beneficial to put a cleaner gas into your car? I lived right down the street from a gas station in Newport that had 101 octane, 101 octane. It's, it, it's like jet fuel. I'd always see Ferraris and other cars like that filling up right there. And once every couple months, I would fill my car up with that. And back then it was like four, $4 a gallon in the early 2000s 
450 a gallon, maybe maybe even five. So to fill up my Mercedes tank was just outrageous, especially back then. And I, you know, I'm really honest with you guys. I'm super honest with you guys. That was back when I was still super spoiled and my parents still had a lot of money. That vehicle was purchased for me by my mom um, because I convinced her that I was gonna use it for our real estate business. My mom had a humongous real estate business in Newport Beach. Um, she, it, it was so big at one point, she sold her business to Rupert Murdoch who then put Prudential California real estate in place in, in Newport Beach in the early 90s because of uh, my mom selling out. And then she opened up another company. Long, long story short, I convinced her that it would be perfect for the customers and blah, 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 just manipulating the heck out of the situation. And she fell for it. Um, <laughs> you know, so I was driving a 500 Mercedes, being a lazy bum, not, not working at all and just a manipulative little dude. And uh, you guys have no idea how grateful I am for the past four years and one month now. I've been able to send my mom a couple bucks each month. Of course, I don't have anything left over, but I'm so grateful that I have been able to do that. And I haven't missed one month because she doesn't have anything anymore. She moved in with my older brother. She lost everything from, from a, a lady who came from just about nothing, built up a, a real estate empire. She was driving a Rolls Royce and an SL 500 brand new Silver Arrow, um, paying for all my family's stuff. She lost everything and uh, I'm fortunate to be one of the seven kids. Maybe the only one, there might be another one that helps her a little bit, but I'm the only one who has who has done this much for her and I'm the baby of all the kids. I'm the youngest of seven kids. Okay, we're up here in Upper Moon Ridge and we are getting a little bit of a wintry mix, but it's nothing like I anticipated. 37 degrees, here's where we're at. You can see we're right on top of the M for Moon Ridge. We're on Oon Ridge right now. Hey guys, you wanna go to Oon Ridge? All right, I know I'm not funny. I know. Keep my day job. I'm a sit down comedian. Definitely not a stand up. So we're going to try and keep on climbing as high as we can. Can you climb higher? Can you fly me over yesterday? Believe it or not, you guys, I can't actually sing. I don't really put a lot of effort into it when I do my stupid little things in the car because if I'm putting a lot of effort into it and then someone like make like makes fun of me, I'll feel so bad. I won't want to show my face anymore. I don't want to show my face anymore. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, now we're getting some sleep. Look at the windshield. I don't know if you guys can see all these little white pellets and hear them. But I knew this would work out for us because it turned back, like as soon as I left it, my house, it changed back to rain right away. But we're definitely getting sleet now. Looks like machine gun fire hitting the ground. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 So we were on Villa Grove and it changed to La Crescenta. Look at how big that screen is, you guys. Isn't that just utterly insane? I am so grateful for this car. But this car scared me because I think I was a little too ambitious. Like, it scares me a lot. $850 a month. I got... Um, gap insurance, I got the extended warranty, all that good stuff, but um, yeah, it's it's a bit scary because that's a humongous car payment. My Mercedes payment was 1100 a month, but I wasn't paying it, and as I said, that's when I was a spoiled, spoiled rotten dude, and thank goodness, you guys, I'm telling you guys, thank goodness that my mom lost everything. 
Of course, for her, I wish she didn't. And I want her to still be super well off and not ever have to worry of, about anything. Um, she didn't ask my dad for child support, nothing. Like, she's an amazing, amazing woman who worked her butt off to get to where she was. And she spent years and years on top, like years and years. And then the 2008 housing crisis, because she owned a lot of property too, killed her and she lost everything. And ever since, since then, it's, she, it's, it's been, it's been really, really miserable. And I feel so bad, so bad for her because I used to take such advantage, but if that wouldn't have happened to her, there's no way I would be the man that I am today. I never imagined I'd, I'd, I'd be driving in a car where I'm paying $850 a month. As I said, it's scary for me because you know, I don't have anything left over and I got married this last year. And I have a like all this freaking credit card debt that I'm 80% paid down now after having it all maxed out. I just really wish that um, I was more responsible at a younger age. But as I said, my parents came from nothing, you guys. And my dad, he was put in like an orphanage on the weekends growing up in Chicago. He's 90 years old now, but he put himself through UCLA, his undergrad, um, driving a taxi, and then he went to Northwestern Medical School and became a very successful doctor driving a taxi. He put himself through school driving a taxi. My dad's parents had nothing. So both my parents came from nothing and didn't complain about anything or, or didn't worry about what other people had and what they don't have. They just worked their butts off and they became at one point super successful. My dad now, since he obviously doesn't work, he's 90 now, he lives off of his social security and his girlfriend's social security. They've been together about 20 years. And uh, for a while I was sending him a couple bucks each month too because his lifestyle is nothing like it used to be. But got in a big, big fight with his girlfriend who is a uh, she's a, a southern woman and he met her well when he lived in Georgia now he lives in North Florida in, in the panhandle on the on the beach kind of but uh yeah she's uh when f from the front it's the southern hospitality and this and that but behind closed doors are completely judgmental and just not my type of people but if my my dad's happy i'm happy i know she takes great care of him at least that when i see him that's how i see everything is she takes great 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 care but we got into a huge fight and i felt like my dad wasn't at all taking my side when uh yeah so i i got super upset and uh i cut that off not the relationship, but I, I couldn't afford to be helping him with already helping my mom. And my dad's not in a struggling position like my mom is. So I didn't feel as as bad, but I felt like she was going to keep me from ever seeing my father again because he, he is older. He's got a lot of medical issues now. So, yeah, that's that's been a really rough situation for me. But, um, but yeah, both my parents came from nothing absolutely nothing and now they both don't don't have anything anymore and by the way it's 35 degrees we are descending right now pretty significantly but we're definitely getting all sleet now and yeah once again i'm just super blessed that i'm able to help help my mom each month a little bit it's you know but it's a lot more than I ever thought I would be able to. And sure, it leaves me with absolutely nothing, especially after this damn car payment, but um, you only live once, you guys. And you know what? When I, you know, I've always stressed out since I've, I've been on my own financially for the past 15 years, always stressed out. Um, when I have less, you know, same, same exact stresses. And so I just figured, you know what? If I'm always gonna stress like this, just try to enjoy my life. You know, it's not like I'm planning on retiring anytime soon. So get the nice car 
and be happy. Um, because as I said, I'm not planning on retiring. So it's, I'm going to have to keep on working and keep on working and keep on working. So if I'm doing that, I should be able to make these car payments. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and did it. And driving it makes me super, super happy because this is a really nice car. I, I never liked Subaru, you guys, until I moved up here. And I just heard the greatest things about Subaru. Temperature dropped down to 34. You know what, we're just gonna pull over here for a quick quick second. Yeah, I never liked Subaru until I'm, I, I moved up here. I had judgment on them and the people who drove them. <laughs> I thought it was just like hippies and this and that, which nothing wrong with hippies. But yeah, I just, that, that just wasn't my my thing. Like, like my thing was like, if I'm gonna spend a lot of money, almost 50 grand on a car, then I wanna get like a sports car or like something like that. And uh, ended up getting that Subaru in, in 2019, my Crosstrek, which will be fixed by the end of the week. I'm so excited. So now my wife, even though she just bought a car, uh, she'll be able to drive my other Subaru when we have snowstorms because I'm, I'm, I'm putting my snow tires back on for her <clears throat> and so I can have her feel safe. So guys, look, we're in like middle moon ridge now. Look at how much more snow there is right here. 34 degrees. But yeah, so I like to tell you guys about me and what I've gone through and um, being totally and rigorously honest, a lot of people wouldn't want to admit how spoiled they were. But I always like to preface it with what my parents had had to grow up with, which is why they gave their kids everything. And I've got some super successful siblings. Like I have a, a sister who's an emergency room doctor and an older brother who uh, owns a software company. I think he has close to like 50 employees like like uh, yeah I'm super proud of them but none of us really talk um, but yeah both my mom and dad came from nothing and they wanted to give us everything that they didn't have so the lesson that I've learned from all of that is when I'm lucky enough to have my own children I'm still gonna give my kids everything when I can but they're gonna have to earn everything it's not going to be a free ride. They're going to have to literally earn everything. And we're still getting sleet, you guys. Still getting some sleet. It's still 34 degrees right here. This temperature really dropped off quickly, didn't it? In about another hour or so, I'll probably be doing another video when it changes fully to snow. But this is the wintry mix, the transition period. Now it jumped back up to 35 because we're lowering in elevation. But yeah, I had a feeling if we went to Upper Moon Ridge, we would find it and we did. Look at all these pellets bouncing off the hood of the car. That's called sleet or grapple, whatever floats your boat. You know, we're going to keep on driving through Moon Ridge a little bit. <clears throat> oh, yeah. What a beautiful day. This, to me, when it starts to be wintry, is very beautiful for me. The rain is miserable for me because when we get rain up here, it's usually super, super cold. And I'm not a fan of cold rain. That's why I prefer the snow. Okay, where am I going? I'd never been up this street, so I thought we would turn up this street because I know it climbs a bit. I think this drops us off over next to Bear Mountain, if I'm correct. It's a steep driveway. Jeez Louise. But yeah, guys, 35 degrees, 12, 15 p.m. on January 10th in 20, the year 2023 in Big Bear, California. We are in the Moon Ridge part of, Cal of uh, the San Bernardino National Forest in Big Bear. Temperature's down to 34 again. Wow, 
Wow, now we're really getting some good sleep coming down. It's so interesting. It really is. Really sleeping good. I can't wait to see a couple big snowflakes because then I know the transition is going to be completing itself. Okay, yeah, we're right next to Bear Mountain. Look, like literally, there's Bear Mountain right there. So we're gonna turn left and go up to the employee, like, uh, it's not an employee parking lot, but it's where employees who work up here doing snowmaking and stuff, where they end up parking. So we're gonna go there. But yeah, that's Bear Mountain, guys. That's the ski resort. anyone out there you guys that's 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 great especially for the ones who don't care about it raining but that's why it's so dead because a lot of people care about the rain employee parking so we're gonna make a u-turn through here I used to be an employee okay let's we'll get a quick view of uh we're right next to the lift right here so pretty you guys I don't want to park and hop out here because they're very strict up here I just want to get some some nice views it's so cool to see these people having fun out there this is the beginner run right here As you can see the chair ends right there let's kind of zoom in a little bit here see just beautiful guys the sleet is coming down I'll let a little bit of it come into the car so you can so you can kind of see it my hand's probably too warm to like keep it icy, but but you can see it, see all the ice, all those little pellets. Oh, there's some snowflakes right there. No way, it's snowing. Yes, yes, it's snowing guys. The timing is perfect. It's, it's starting to snow. So we'll hang out here for a second. Yay. I'm so glad we caught it now so I wouldn't have to inundate you guys even though I'm, I'm gonna have to make another video later it's all snow now crazy how fast that happens you see a snowflake and then boom it's all snow let's see if I zoom in if, if, if we can see it a little better yes we can is all snow. Oh, it's so lovely. And you hear how quiet it got on the car? Just changed so rapidly. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. enough time right here we did it though we found the snow I think that's great it's starting to come down pretty good you know what we will zoom in because it is really coming down with the green background there you can see it better So I wonder if down the mountain, when we get back into Lower Moon Ridge, if it's still gonna, if we're still gonna have any snow. 
We shall see. I'll bet you will be driving back into the sleet, but that's okay. It's not a far drive either to where it could change back. So, wow, guys, we got to the perfect elevation. That's fantastic. That is fantabulous. So rain to sleet and sleet to snow all on this drive. Here, we're gonna roll down this, this window real quick. One more little zoom in. There's no one behind Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> as we get down here a little bit more, as I said, it's probably gonna switch back to more of a, a sleet, but it might not. It's 34 degrees. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna have to slow down again and do another view out the window. Oh, there's someone right behind us now. Not right behind us, but we're not gonna be able to sit and wait. It's so crazy how often we're on that snow line up here. I know I talk about that a lot, but it's, it's so incredible to me. And here's Bear, it's so dead today. Look at the parking lot. It's like three, three quarters full. It's just not that, not that many people. But it's definitely snowing. guys now would be fun to go skiing well and maybe in a few minutes when it gets a little more coverage with snow because the the slope still has to be soaking wet all right we've lowered an elevation temperature is still 34 degrees some idiot threw their shoes up there Ground's already getting a little slushy. Okay, so we're almost back into lower moon ridge and we're still getting snow. That is freaking awesome. rain melted so much snow off the golf course too holy moly you can see a bunch of green and brown out there wow so at this point we have a chance to get an inch of snow you guys by the time this is done the next system looks more promising but that's what I've thought about every system this season so, uh, yeah, not too thrilled about the possibility of not getting much again. Okay, we're at the roundabouts. This is the first one of two.
still hovering at 34 degrees. And we're getting a rain and snow mix now. Not sleet, rain and snow though. Mostly snow. Wow, <laughs> it's so cool. It's like so many different little microclimates at this elevation. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Once it starts really dumping out here, I will be doing more videos. Love you guys, and thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for your support. Look at this white cloud of snow coming down right in front of us. I don't know if you can see it right here. We're driving into it now. Wow. All right, you guys, you guys take care, and I will talk to you later. It's January 10th, 2023 in Big Bear, California at 1224 p.m.